I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh. Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Veska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let I, you two. I, I got it. Are you looking forward I got it. to it? I'm sorry. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway. What the hell is going on? You gonna lecture me too? Oh. <laughs> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says goes. He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Veska! We're done talking. Jesus. You are grumpy. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that! What are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. I think you might need a better one. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man.
Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Um. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. But I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Time again, trouble. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, I'll Mira. be your wing girl. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! Oh. Well, awkward. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, <gasps> really? My ears enough. are not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? Hmm. Bye. My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! I am gonna be a slick son of a gun. So... Over there, or I could hear. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? 
No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secret. No. Not good enough. And you, what are these? I don't need those people. Wait, one of the other people. There you go. Hey, you, why are you grumpy? It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Huh. Well, let me go chat with the other fella first. So, uh, you keep doing your thing. How you doing, pal? <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. Mm. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, oh. he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Hmm. Well, I do believe I got some more snoop in the door. I need... Wait, you're not him. Where is this guy at? Is he over here? Um... Here? There he is. Hey, man. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you, thank you, but I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So... What brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Looks like you got fish lips. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You looked like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Simon! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! 
We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Oh. Uh-oh. Lady Marjorie. Dip, dip, dip! Duck! Ah, oh, you're fucked. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her I parentage. Can't, I can't do it. That is unfortunately it. the way things are. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Please, Lady Mira. Why isn't there just a no thing? God damn it. I've met the Durwells, when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me... I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Oh, boy. I... I... I just wish I could have been like, no, I'm not gonna say. But no, I had to be like, why? Or throw her under the bus. Thanks. Thanks for making me into this terrible person. Hello. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, 
or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the pot. I didn't want to say that! No, I've never... It can't have been easy. I didn't... Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. Oh, boy. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. <laughs> Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. <laughs> He's like a cheer. I to tell him that I knew about the milk of the poppy, but it did it because his game was like, hey, here you go. I'm like, all right, whatever. You sure you know where you're going? Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? But this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. I had their... It's not me. My mouths. But we'll have to stop soon and look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. The free folk. Oh, this. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. We don't think. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhorn. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen! I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. Please! 
He'll be all right. Won't he? Ah! Ah! Oh! Stop! Please! You don't like ah. it? Come on. You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Oh! oh. I just wanted to stay hidden. Cabret. Kill them. Life is hard. And then there's wildlings. Give me the stick. You don't need the stick. I'll poke you with this. God. Why do you people got these sticks? Our food! Hey! Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting yet! It's over! Just don't do it! Garrett! Are those the last of our supplies? Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I don't know what I would have done. I just knew it wasn't right. I wasn't the Lord I wanted to be. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could gather information. See how fortified their castle really is. Well, that's true, I suppose. If we're to mount an assault. We'd only do that if they still held Ryan. But now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. 
If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. Stay. They're barely trained, Royland. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. It's Roderick who must decide. Who would you rather have by your side? Roiland. Roiland's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I don't care. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. I'll... I'll do my best. Well, uh, Talia. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. I swear he's an Arthas wannabe.